All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Chakurash, the ones that tie out apostles of great millstone that do it well, and salutations and blessings to Yahweh, and us pushing his word with true sincerity and charity. All right, today I want to get into this quick lesson. I'm going to title it, What Type of Mindset Should You Have? All right? So, hey, man, coming into 2021, what type of mindset should we have, man? All right, we should be looking for, uh, 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 more and more. All right, and hastening more and more in, in the day of the coming of Yahweh Bashem al man. All right, like the other pastor, uh, the other pastor Har titled this um, year, man. You know, so, hey, we truly have to have that mindset, man. All right, having our minds in the heavens, man. All right, not here in the earth. All right, not thinking upon these uh, earthly things, man. All right, just good to say, remember uh, Lot's wife, man. All right, so, hey, we truly have to remember that, man. Remember what happened to her, man. All right, she got destroyed, man, for looking back. All right, for thinking upon Sodom and Gomorrah, man. All right, wanted to be there, man. All right, hey, we, we don't want to be inside of Babylon the Great, man. So, hey, we truly have to have that mindset, man. All right, hastening the day of Yahweh Bashem al Shai. Okay? So, I'm going to uh, jump right into it. This is Isaiah 51 and 14. It says, The captive uh, exile hastening that he may be loosed, and that he should not die in the pit, nor that his bread should fail. So, hey, man, we truly want to get up out of the hands of this devil, man. All right, our mindset is, is to hasten at this place, man, because, hey, we're nothing but captives here, man. All right, we want to be loose, man. So, hey, we're calling upon your Shema and man. All right, we're praying to the Lord, man, with everything that we get. All right, hey, man, we we pushing these videos, man, more and more. All right, hey, doing everything that we can, man, so that our Lord can come back, man, quickly, man. All right, we're praying every single day, man, that he does, man, because we want to get up out of here, man. All right, because, hey, we know that this place is not our rest, man. All right, this place has been nothing but our, our, our downfall, man. All right, our embarrassment, you know. So this is Micah 2 and 10. It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. So, hey, man, this place is not our rest, man. All right, we were never uh, meant, meant to be here, man. All right, this place was just a, 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 just a ass whooping, man. All right, and then for us to reflect on that ass whooping, all right, and then to repent, man. I ain't turn back to your how about Shemel Shah, but hey, all of our, all of our, uh, um, you know, all of our nation, man, they don't want to do that, man. All right, so hey, it's only for the elect, man. All right, it's only for the elect of the nation of Israel, man. All right, hey, this ain't our rest, man. All right, and hey, that's why we want to get up out of here so bad, man. All right, because hey, like uh, the scripture say, man, Lot was vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked, man. All right, we're the same way, man. All right, we vex every single day, man. All right, hearing wickedness, seeing wickedness, man. All right, any of that, man, smelling wickedness, man. All right, smelling, uh, hey, some of ha some of us have to smell our uh, family members cooking abominable foods, man. All right, all these things, man, hey, we're, we're vexed with this place, you know? So, this is Deuteronomy 28 and verse 43, man, because, hey, this ain't our rest, man. This this is our, our captivity, man. This is our slavery, man, you know? So, it says, uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 43. Uh, the stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. All right, who is that? Esau Edom, man. All right, hey, he he. This man has a hey, he has the entire known world, man. All right, at one at one point in time, man, hey, we were hey Esau Edom has the entire world, man. You know, hey, at one point in time, we were uh, uh we was at the top, man. You know, but hey, the Lord brought us down. All right, he made us very low, man. It says he shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head and thou shalt be the tail. So, hey, man, now we're the tail, man. All right, we're the back, man. We're we're the uh, bottom of the bottom, man. You know, we're the, uh, uh, um, you know, the scum of the earth, man, in this world, man. You know, because the Lord put curses upon us because we didn't hearken unto him, man. We didn't listen. Hey, this is Deuteronomy 28 and 15. It says, but it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of Yahweh thy power to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All right. So, hey, man, we didn't listen to the we didn't listen to the ways of Yahweh man. All right. You read the uh, the book of Judges, man. All right. Hey, we continuously went off and sinned against Yahweh Shai, man, served other gods, served other nations, man. You know, hey, uh, the book, uh, the book of Maccabees, man. All right, people follow the Greek, the Greekish ways, man. All right, hey, hey, the the uh, what people call the New Testament, man. You know, hey, our people were, were um, you know, um, portraying to be the Greeks, man. All right, being uh, uh, you know, wanting to be the Edomites. You know, all these things, man. Hey, hey, they they had our Lord put to death, man. You know, so hey, hey, Israel is a stiff-necked people, man. Hey, we're rebellious, man. You know, and hey, that's why the Lord put us inside this captivity. So, yeah, finish that.
Yeah, yeah, it says that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. You know, hey, that's exactly what's happened to our nation, man. So, hey, this is uh, Deuteronomy 28 and uh, 45. It says, moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of Yahweh thy power to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee. All right. So, amen. These uh these, these curses have overcome and destroyed us, man. All right. Because we have not hearkened unto the ways of the Lord, man. All right. We didn't keep his commandments. Right. And it says, and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. And that's how we know who the Israelites are, man. All right, that's how we know that you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the Hebrew Israelites, man. All right, because, hey, you're a cursed nation, man. All right, you're going through nothing but uh, horrible atrocities, man, nothing but hell, man. All right, hey, you subject to payment, man, you know. Hey, man, hey, this is truly slavery for you, man. So, hey, this is why we had the mindset of wanting to get up out of this place, man. All right, wanted, to, want, wanted our Lord to come back so, so quick, man. All right, because we know this is nothing but hell, hell for us, man. Eventually, man, hey, no flesh should be saved, man. You know, hey, we are all die here, man. So this is Deuteronomy 28 and um, 47. It says, because thou servest not Yahweh thy power with, joy, with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies, which Yahweh, shall, which Yahweh shall sin against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Until he have destroyed thee. All right. So, hey, man. That's why we don't want to be here, man. All right. Because we're nothing but slaves, man. All right. Hey, you, you're nothing but a slave to Esau Eden, man. A so-called white man, man. All right. So, why would you want to be here, man? All right. Hey, so, hey, the true mindset to have, man. The correct mindset to have. All right. The Israelite mindset to have is to get up out of here, man. All right. It's to want to have a, a salvation, man. You know, hey, yeah, you got to work towards salvation. You know, got to put in your work, man, in order to uh, punch that ticket. So this is Matthew 6 and 19. It says, lay up for your lay up for yourselves treasures upon lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rough and rust doth corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt uh, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. All right. So, amen. We're supposed to be having our minds inside the heavens, man. All right, laying up our treasures inside the heavens. It says, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So, amen, where our treasures is at, man, that's where our minds will be. All right, so, hey, we're supposed to be storing our treasures up in heavens, man. All right, hey, 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 whatever you, hey, a woman you want on this side, man, you claim her for the heavens, man. All right, hey, don't be, you know, chasing every single woman you see or, you know, doing these things, man, because this world is going to pass away, man, according to um, uh, First John uh, 2 and 15 through 17, man. You know, everything in this world is going to pass away, man, the lust. All right, everything, man, is going to be burned up, man. All right, so we're supposed to be laying up our treasures inside the heavens, man, having our minds in the heavens. It says, the light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. But if thy eye be evil, uh, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? All right, so amen. You're supposed to be having your minds on righteousness, man. Have your minds on your how about your mouth shut. All right, keep your eyes single, man. All right, don't 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 think upon this world, man. All right, this world is gonna pass away, man. Don't think about going back into the world, or don't think about uh, anything in this world, man. All right, hey, man, the things of this world is, is about to be destroyed, man. All right, hey, man, hey, we all have our folly here, man. The, you know, the things to enjoy. All right, things you enjoy in your flesh. All right, but hey, man, this world is about to be destroyed, man. You know, so hey, you should be putting more and more into the spirit, man. All right, reading more and more, uh, praying more and more, you know, just being in the spirit more and more, man, and cutting off this flesh, man, because, hey, everything here is about to be destroyed, man. You know, hey, we enjoy ourselves more and more inside the kingdom, you know. So verse 24 says, no man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve Yahweh and Mammon, all right? So, hey, man, you cannot serve Yahweh, Bashem, Shah and riches, man, this world, man. All right, hey man, you can't be chasing uh, this world, man. You can't be chasing these riches. All right, like niggas like to say, chasing the bag, man, and chasing your how about your shot. It don't work, man. All right, hey, you gotta you gotta trust in your how about your shot and chase after him, man. All right, you gotta put all your eggs into this one basket, man. All right, the basket of your how about your shot, man. All right, cause hey, anything else outside of that is about to be wiped out, man. All right, it's about to be completely utterly destroyed, man. Okay, 
So, let me get this. This is Colossians chapter 3 and verse 1. It says, If ye then be risen with Hamashiach, seek those things which are above, where Hamashiach sitteth on the right hand of Yahweh. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. So, amen. Our mindset is, on, is, is in the heavens, man. Our, our affections are in the heavens. All right, we're not thinking about this world, man. All right, we're not trying to flourish in this world, man. All right, and we're rebuking this world, man, through the spirit of Yahweh Hashemah Shah because it's wicked, man. All right, it's nothing but wickedness inside of this world, man. Nothing but uh, 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 folly, man. All right, that's why it's good to say folly is set in great dignity, man. All right, so, hey, man, we're trusting in the Lord, man. All right, because there's nothing to be happy about here, man. All right, it's nothing to party about, none of that shit, man. All right? Because, hey, man, this is like a hey, Deuteronomy 28 chapter, man. This is nothing but our slavery, man. All right, so, hey, man, hey, we're, we're, we're in the heavens with our Lord, man. All right, hey, we're waiting for our Lord to come down to save us, man. All right? Hey, that's why it says that in that Revelation 12 and 12. You know what? Let me get that. It's Revelation 12 and 12. It says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. All right? So, hey, man, hey, we're, we're rejoicing, man. All right? We're going to continue to rejoice, man, as, as it comes closer to the coming of the day of our Lord, man. All right? Even though things are about to get bad, man, very hectic, man. All right? But we know. We know that the Lord. We know that, that a new kingdom is about to come, man. All right? We know that something new is about to come, man. Our slavery... It's not going to last forever, man. All right? You so-called Negro Spans and Native Americans will not be here forever, man. All right? Whether you like it or not, man. Okay? So it says, Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he know it that he have but a short time. So, hey, Esau is about to jack up you niggas, man. All right? You two-third Israelites, man, because you don't want to repent, man. All right? You don't want to have the mindset of getting out of here, man. All right? You don't want to have the mindset of hastening in the day of your Habash Shai. All right, you want you want to be here and you want to uh, uh um be up under your daddy Esau, man. All right. And, hey man, the Lord is not gonna allow it, man, because hey, the Lord is about to turn Esau's spirit up. And he's truly about to become that sword, man. All right, that he's meant to be and that he is, man. And he's about to thrash you niggas. <laughs> he's about to heal you to pieces, man. All right, with everything that he has, man. All, all the little tricks he got up his sleeve, man, he's about to put upon you niggas, man. So hey, this is 2 Peter chapter 3 and 13. It says, nevertheless, we, according to it, to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. All right. So, hey, man, that's our mindset, man. All right. That's what we're looking forward to, man. All right. A new heaven and a new earth, man. All right. We're not looking for we, we, we're not looking towards this world, man, to, to continue, man. We're looking for this world to fall, man. All right. And, hey, that's what we praying for uh, every single day, man. All right. Because that's what we want Yahweh Shema Shah to bring, man. The downfall of Esau Edom. So this second Ezra, six and nine, it says, for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth." So Esau is the end of the world, man. The end of this age, man, he's the end. All right. Hey, that's why he's ruling uh, like he's ruling right now, man. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked, man. He's ruling everything, man. All right. He has the entire earth. But hey, when the Lord comes back, he's, he's going to take all that power away from Esau, either, man. All right. He's not going to have any more power. He's going to be thrown into a pit, man. All right. So... Let me get this. This is Zephaniah 3 and 8. It says, Therefore wait ye upon me, said Yahweh, until the day that I raise up that the day until the day that I rise up to the prey. Alright, raise up to the prey. So like it. So amen. The Lord is gonna hey, we gotta wait for Yahweh Shema Shah, man. The Lord is, is gonna bring down Esau Edom, man in due time, man. Alright, but hey, we have to continue to hasten in that day, man. Continue to, to pray and hope that Yahweh Shema Shah comes back very soon, man. Pray that he comes back this year, man. You know, it says, uh, for my determination is to gather the nations that I may that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour out my to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. So, amen. The Lord is coming back with that fire, man. All right, he's coming back to judge, man. All right. That's how he's going to uh, plead, plead with this world, man. All right. With fire, man. Judgment, man. All right. Death. All right. That's what Yahweh Shema Shah is coming back with, man. You know, so hey man, hey, I pray that this lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Chakwadash, that one's a tie the apostle of great millstone, and do it well, and citations and blessings to Akin as pushing his word with true sincerity and charity. Shalom and a Baba Ball.